Stuart Legends Day at Bradford. It's fair to say you're a Bradford legend. You're back at the club now. Um, it's good that the club looks back, isn't it, on history and players like yourself and welcomes her back. Yeah, certainly so. It's good to see. Uh, I missed out on the golf, unfortunately, because A, I'm a poor player and B, I've got a, a bad knee. But, um, you know, I've been into obviously seeing the likes of John Endy and uh, Dean Windass and Rammers, who we used to play with. And, and a lot of the old boys that have come back, Bruce Bannis has actually just bought me a lag of shandy, so there's a first. But um, And Alan Gilliver's come up. So, yeah, it's, it, it, it is good. And it's good. Barry Gallagher, oh, gosh, I could go on. I've only been here 10 minutes. Uh, but, um, no, yeah, it's, uh, they do well. The club do really well. And, you know, they've got a a good uh, bond with the, the ex-players and current players, a lot of current lads here today. Um, and it's been a, I believe it's been a really good day, the weather kept good and hopefully some of our lads have won some prizes. Obviously we, we look at you now as manager, your second spell, but what about your time as a player? Because obviously it, it put you on the big stage, didn't it, Bradford? It got you on that step upwards. Yeah, yeah, come as a 16 year old. Um, you know, I had two fantastic years working as an apprentice and, and learning my trade, if you like. Managed to get in the side and then, you know, I had a lot of highs and obviously, you know, a major low with the, with the disaster. But, you know, then came back for another spell and got another promotion. So, yeah, listen, it's it has been a lot of wonderful memories. Um, met a lot of fantastic people, be it supporters, staff, players and non-playing non, non staff. Um, yeah, I've just been very lucky to be involved in the, in the club when we've had uh, a lot of success. And I guess obviously you've played at big clubs, Everton, Rangers, mm. I mean, but Bradford is seen as, as your club, would that be right? You think? Yeah, I think obviously when I left at 16, I think it's no secret, my dad used to play for Leeds, I was born in Leeds, like 300 yards from Ellen Road, so I did, you know, was brought up a, a Leeds United fan. And then when I joined the club, and I think obviously when we went through the what happened in 85, you know, there was a bond between the, the players and the supporters and everyone connected. Um, you know that season really, and that's always stayed with us. But yeah, I've, I've always seen it as as a club close to my heart. You know, I've, I've enjoyed. Listen, I've enjoyed every club I've been at, be it Everton, Rangers, Sheffield United, um, even managing at Motherwell as well. There, so um, it's it's. I've been very lucky in the game, but uh, yeah, it's it's. Um, Looking back, some so many great memories uh, on the football park at, uh, at Valley Parade. They say never go back. You came back as a player. You've come back as a manager now. You can't keep away. Yeah, listen, the, 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 this one came right out of the blue. I would have surprised anyone when Phil left and never thought for a second of even applying for the job. But I got a call out of the blue, put my CV in, had a meeting. Um, I was looking to get back in. And I've got to say, uh, I've had a lot of opportunities, both north and south of the border. But I was actually looking to get back in at a club that you know had a support and it, 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 and it could flourish. And never for one second did I think it would be Bradford. Um, so imagine me, 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 you know, surprise and, and, and pleasure really walking out in front of 16, 17,000. And uh, um, it's certainly a, a club with fantastic support. And um, hopefully we can, in the coming seasons, you know, give them a lot to smile about. Way up the start then, because given all the injuries yeah. you've had, I guess you would have taken where you are right <laughs> now. Certainly so. Certainly the amount of points we've got, yeah, because, you know, we did come in later on had to not only I think we had nine ten players um, a couple of them were obviously long term injuries you know Derby and McArdle weren't going to be at start for us and we got injured on top of that but also almost a new whole staff you know from head physio to well through all the staff goalkeeper assistant uh, manager manager um, so the players have had a lot put with brought other players in naturally as well um, and for them to gel as quick is testament to the players really and, and they've given us everything since day one there'll be some days we'll lose um, but as long as we carry on playing in a manner that we we feels right and, and we go to the last minute um, that's all we can ask and the, the support and the players have, have been outstanding since we've been back and people are enjoying the way the team is playing is there more to come do you feel from that? well yeah you hope so um, so the bottom line is you know, it's about results. It's about winning, um, and if you can do that in a manner that's, you know, uh, excites the fans, great. If it, I think from a manager, you, you won't be in a job long if you're not winning. That's for sure. But I think the main aim as well is, is when the whistle goes on Saturday afternoon at, at the final whistle, and people getting out and going, they want to come back. You know, they've been entertained, they've seen enough, win, lose or draw. That you know, you want to come back and watch what's being served up. So. Um, I think that's a that's a point as well. But um, as I say, it's early days, but it's you know it's a great start considering you know everything that the, the club has had to put up with. And it's another big game. Obviously, there's a fill all the fill thing. Mm. That's probably for people who were here last year, Stuart. But it's a yeah. big game anyway, isn't it? Bolton are going to be up there alongside Bradford. We hope. Yeah, I th listen, they're a strong, powerful squad. Um, you know, I would be 
mightily surprised. I think they'll certainly be top six, but I'm sure they'll be looking to bounce straight back up and try to go back in top two. Um, they've got a, you know, not only a powerful and physical, strong squad, they've got good, good players in there as well. And obviously a top-class manager now, Phil's there. Uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. You know, obviously we sold out a ticket, 4,300, which is going to be a fantastic backing. I go back to my old days again, going back to probably 85 and the, the game that we... we clinched um, the championship I mean actually Bobby Campbell scored there and, and we won 2-0 and we had a tremendous travelling support that day so um, yeah looking forward to the game at the end of the day without taking anything away from it, it's three points in a long long season and I know it means a lot to the to the supporters um, but for me listen Phil did an outstanding job at the club um, I understand why he moved on it was time for him to move on and uh, we wish him well after Saturday.